guys, welcome back to Demetra's Dishes. So today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make just a basic European style vanilla buttercream. This recipe can be turned into so many different variations of buttercream. So you can make Nutella buttercream or chocolate hazelnut buttercream, raspberry, any fruit flavor you like. You can make this chocolate flavored. I'll have much more information about this on the blog post, which will be in the link down below in the description box. that will take you straight to the website. But I'm going to begin by going over the ingredients and I'll show you exactly how easy it is to make. I've made this recipe. I've used buttercream many times on this uh, channel. So far we've made a uh, a hazelnut cake with it. We made a black and white cake and I'm just going to make this video so we could have it as a basic reference that you can go to whenever you're making a dessert and you want to make a really delicious buttercream that's European style, super velvety and creamy without being overly sweet like the American buttercream tends to be. It's great for making cake, for icing cupcakes, putting on cookies. You can get as creative as you want with this. Let's go over the ingredients and then we're going to get started. First we're, we're going to begin by making a pastry cream. So for the pastry cream we're going to need some whole milk, a little bit of heavy whipping cream, some egg yolks, corn starch, also known as corn flour in other parts of, parts of the world, and some salt. So that is for the pastry cream. While I'm going over the rest of the ingredients, I'll just put the milk in my saucepan and uh, I'll heat it up while we're working. And you really wanna bring it up to almost a boil. Then, when we're gonna make the buttercream, we're gonna, when we're gonna finally put it all together in a little while, we're gonna need some vanilla extract. Always use the pure stuff. You can use a vanilla bean and scrape up the seeds if you really wanted to. I have some confectioner sugar here and some unsalted butter, a pound of it. So this batch will ice a three layer, eight inch round cake. It can ice at least 24 cupcakes. It's a really nice, generous batch. So while our milk is heating up, what we're gonna do is we're going to whisk up these egg whites just until everything is incorporated. And the one ingredient that I did forget is sugar. So while we're waiting for this to heat up, I'll add some sugar to this, whisk it all up, and then we'll put it all together so that way it can thicken. All right, so I also added the heavy whipping cream to the eggs and the sugar and the cornstarch mixture, and this is ready to go. Our milk is at the perfect temperature. It's really nice and hot. And at this point, we're gonna temper the eggs. And that just means we're gonna raise their temperature by adding some of the scalding hot milk to the eggs, and then we're gonna whisk them up and add them back to the pot. So now we're just going to cook this mixture stirring constantly. If you don't stir, then while it begins to thicken, it's gonna burn from the bottom and you'll have to start all over. So when it's at this consistency, we're gonna turn off the heat and we're gonna add our vanilla extract to it. And give it a nice mix. Now I'm just gonna transfer it to a bowl Cover it with some plastic wrap until it cools. Okay, so the, the pastry cream needed to cool down pretty quickly so that, I can, that way I can make this video. So if you wanna make uh, the buttercream and you're in a hurry like I am, what you're gonna wanna do is take a bigger bowl and fill it with ice and then let the pastry cream sit in the center and every five minutes just go in there with a the spatula and just mix it around because the edges are going to start to cool faster than the center and within like 15-20 minutes the pastry cream will come to the right temperature which is room temperature. One of the most important things about making this buttercream is the pastry cream and the butter have to be at the same temperature. They should both be at room temperature um, because if the pastry cream is cold, it's gonna freeze the butter or harden it and you're gonna, instead of having a smooth velvety buttercream, you're gonna have a lumpy buttercream and you, you don't want that. And if the pastry cream is too hot, it'll melt it. So either way, it can't be hot and can't be cold. So if you, if you make the pastry cream a day ahead of time, which you can do, you could actually make it up to three days ahead of time. Take it out of the refrigerator and you can microwave it for about 30 seconds or so until it comes to room temperature. If you don't use the microwave, just put it on top of a double boiler until it comes to room temperature, completely up to you, or leave it out for a little while. Put it in a bowl of warm water, so many options. Anyway, I'm gonna put all of my butter in my mixer. Then I'm gonna put a pinch of salt, about a quarter teaspoon or so, the powdered sugar, and the vanilla extract. I'm gonna put it all in and then I'm gonna start on low speed so that way the powdered sugar doesn't fly out of the mix mixer. 
And then I'm going to increase the speed to high and whip it until it's really nice and fluffy. Once the mixture is really nice and fluffy like this, you're going to want to go in with a spatula and scrape down the sides and get anything that may have sunk to the bottom. And then we're going to put a third of the pastry cream in a little bit at a time, mixing until it's all incorporated and really nice and fluffy. So this is what we're looking for, a really velvety, smooth, and light buttercream. When it reaches its consistency, it is completely ready. So that is just how easy it is to make this buttercream. This stores well in the fridge for about three to four days, but really it's better made the day that you need it. The recipe will be in the description box down below, as well as the link to the website www.demetriusdishes.com. If you've already made it, let me know what you think, and also check out the website because I'll put in all of the ways that you can flavor this and so many options to create different buttercreams using this basic recipe. Thank you for spending time with me today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.